Why or why not? I mean, uh, what what was your vision of marriage? The, role model. Yeah, role model of marriage. Uh, you know, how did you look at that? Oh, well, you know, you, the picket fence and all that yeah. type of thing, yeah. Um, I don't know. I just, we were happy together. Okay. And, and uh, where'd you go for your honeymoon? Uh, Aurelia, Canada. Aurelia? Aurelia. See, I never know any of these things. But it's near Niagara Falls, right? No, it's, it's, quite, it's quite a ways up in Canada. But wasn't that part of it? Is to visit? Well, we stayed at Niagara Falls. Um, yeah, first night. Do you remember uh, a story about the bed? I don't know if it was that one, but you put a quarter in it and something would oh, happen. Oh, yeah. Tell that story. Uh, it, it was, uh, we, they didn't have motels. If they had them, they weren't very many. And so we stayed in a cabin. There weren't any where we went, any right. motels. Right. So we stayed in this cabin, and it had some, it had message there. And I, it was Sunday, and so we got married Saturday, Sunday. So I put the quarter, message. I put the quarter in, and I says, "My gosh, the bed's shaking." <laughs> Take a message. <laughs> so, so I put another quarter in. <laughs> no, it was massage. Keep talking to me, Lord. <laughs> I'm feeling it. It was massage, not, mer not message. <laughs> no. That's all, all the way you read it. <laughs> what was originally the most difficult for you about being married or being in a relationship? Because you know, once you, you're dating is one thing, but once you get married, things change. So what was the biggest thing that you had to adapt to? Well, her, hers was uh, uh, after the honeymoon and everything, which was, I don't know, 10 days or so. Uh, and she says, oh my gosh, you got to go to work. You'll be leaving me, you know. Yeah. And uh, now the adaption. I yeah. Know. I mean, from my perspective, I was used to doing things my way and Emma was used to doing things her way. And, and it was kind of, you know, do I adapt to her? Does she adapt to me? How do we compromise? You know, those kinds of things. But No. no. Well... Of course, we weren't in a house, we were in a bank building. And That's when you went right back to Youngsville when you were married or not? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. In the bank building, yeah. three, 42 steps up. Yeah, do you remember that? I, rem I, they I went up those steps there, many times and I didn't I have even, a picture of the bank building. And I don't even, I don't even, I didn't know at the time when I was going up and down those steps that you lived up there, so. Oh. Yeah. I will say from mom's perspective, I remember she told me that when she was home with the kids and, and everything that she thought there's got to be more to life than just this oh. taking care of everything and yeah. and then she said she would watch like the edge of night and some of these things and she would see what was going on in the show and then you'd come home and take it out on you you know yeah, for, yeah. for what they were doing on that oh, show oh, and, you know, I don't know. But those were that was uh, she yeah. told me that story yeah. uh, what was your first big purchase when you got married? Boy, you mean, well, it had to be something right there at the... Probably at the house, you know, something that... A car or... You I probably had a car. What car did I have? 49. I, oh, I think I had that big... DeSoto? DeSoto, probably. You park it on the street, or was there a lot there, or something? Yeah, I parked. I think on the back of the building there. Well, then I remember. I remember we lived in another place in Youngsville, in back of the way in another street. Boy, I don't know about that. Well, I never heard of it either. Oh no, no! I know what I'm thinking. I know what I'm thinking. I parked my car. At another street. That's it. I found the garage. Oh, yeah, okay. we didn't okay. live there. Okay. No. Right. Yep. That's where I put the car. So you don't know about a purchase, like couch or oh. chairs or something had to be a purchase that. Yeah, well, I had to sit on something. Yeah. Yeah. I. I Bed. Well, the Davenport uh, and. Uh, uh, 
Was it furnished or did you have to buy a bed? Well, I think I took my bed from home. Okay. Da Mrs. Uh, Nordine, Mrs. Nordine, uh, Marilyn's mother. She got us a lot of a lot of stuff from sales too. Uh -huh. And uh, she come home with them, and we had to take them, but uh -huh. they were worth taking. Uh -huh. I remember you said you went to somebody's house and you looked in their medicine <clears throat> medicine cabinet and all the different things that were in there, and you thought. How am I going to ever buy all this? Oh, stuff? yeah, yeah, that did go through my mind. I said, all of the things that people have in their house, they have to uh, Where does the money work, come? work for those and get them. Yeah. Um, what was the best times and the most difficult times in marriage? Start with the best. Best times, I guess, going out and dancing and... Played car. I don't know if we played cars. Probably did with someone. You used to like to go to the mineral mineral well. Yeah. And dance. Okay. And yeah. That's what Northmore. That's like Sheffield or something, wasn't it? Yeah, something yeah. like that. It was up that way. Uh, I don't. I don't know of our worst time. Most difficult times. The Bell's palsy, probably. Huh? When you had the palsy. Oh, I thought you meant with the marriage. Well, I did. Oh. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, you know what was what was the difficult times in the marriage? Did you you and mom didn't fight over money? I'm sure you didn't. No, no. No, I had the charge of the money, and uh, uh, I it, it was we had this minimal money all the time that uh, I think I didn't give her much. To to spend because we didn't have it. Yeah. And uh, but because she'd say what sometimes she'd go to a ladies' aid or something, and they'd ask for a dollar or two, and she didn't have that on her. And I yeah feel bad about it now. But I guess the reason I brought up the balls palsy thing is that you know how mom laughs at someone falling while well, oh, yeah. we were having trouble eating or something and something fell out and she started laughing yeah. and you... I told him, that's what I told him last night, I said that's the only time I ever see I yeah. saw him be mad at mom. That's me too. Yeah. Yep. Uh, do you have any favorite stories uh, from marriage with mom or about mom? Any favorite stories? You'd sing a lot in the car together. Huh? You would sing a lot in the car together. Oh yeah. Oh, you mean the good times? Yeah. 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 Favorite favorite stories about. Yeah. Because yeah. you know. one of the questions I asked last night is, you know, that the little things in life become the big things. Yeah. And yeah. I remember the little things to them would have been the singing in the car that I would think would be yeah. really big when they when it's well, all over. kind of. We had some friends and we played cards a lot. Yeah, even through our lives, you played yeah. cards a lot. Oh, you hand, this. hand and foot, you never played it. Yeah, we played hand and foot with it. Did you? Yeah. That's I don't know what you played with her, Banan, and all these other people. It was that, Sandy and Jerry mostly. Yeah. But I mean, when we were younger, it wasn't Sandy and Jerry. But no. It was Bailey. Kurtz's. Tom Bailey's dad. Okay. Yeah, I think he died at the forge. Um, explain the dollar twenty story. Oh, that's how a little money I had. Uh, we oh we knew of a, a place where you could get a hamburg and a drink for a certain amount, I think. And uh, anyway. Uh, the bill came, whatever it was we bought, maybe just a drink or a hamburger. Uh, I, I had figured out how much the bill was going to be. And he says, uh, I had a dollar fifteen, I think that was it. And he says, it's a dollar, it'll be a dollar twenty. And I says, a dollar twenty? Because I didn't have it. <laughs> so he, Otherwise, you know, it sh shocked me. I didn't have a dollar twenty. I had a dollar fifteen. So what happened? Did you get the food? 
Huh? Was his uh, was his calculation wrong? I, I, yeah, he made a mistake. Yeah. It was a dollar fifteen because I, I mean, they didn't have the tax. Yeah. Were, yeah, he made a mistake of a because I knew what it was. <laughs> Get up and punch him. Dollar <laughs> twenty. That's me for another nickel, whatever end. Well, we both laughed at that afterwards. Yeah. I mean, everybody in the place heard it, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what do you believe is the key to a successful marriage? Uh, I'll tell you one thing, is don't look back on, and I think mention, unless, you, unless you're okay with it, because you guys don't do this, but don't mention your old boyfriends and Maybe he was better at something than you were. He uh -huh. played ball and he was good. And yeah. uh, uh, it just sounds like I wish, I wish I had him instead yeah. of you. Right. Yeah. But you, you guys, can do it. But uh, uh, you understand it's okay when I do it. I suppose. Like you said, you you might call Janice once in a while or Renee. Well, I wouldn't do that in front of Maryland, say that I had this, this other girl that I, I kind of liked. Yeah. And uh, I, I did like her a lot. And, uh, but uh, when, when I said, uh, uh, what did I say? And she says, well, maybe I will. Oh, I says, go take a crap for yourself. <laughs>